Hello world, welcome to the 81st video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Uh, one of my big hobbies is fitness, and um, twice in the last 10 years or so, I've been able to get down to 6 to 7% body fat, which is pretty close to being on a stage. And um, I've learned um, from professionals, uh, professional bodybuilders. And when I first started, I realized that the key to nutrition and um, fitness is it's just a big math problem. And I was pretty excited about that because I do like math. And so to, in today's video, this will be the first video in our Python for Fitness playlist. And specifically in today's video, we're going to do four steps to figure out your calorie and macro requirements. And then we're going to check out a library called Edamom, Pi Edamom, to figure out the nutrient, the calories and macros in common food items. And so we're going to do this uh, if by four steps. The first one is to calculate our basal metabolic rate, our BMR. Then we're going to use that. And then we're going to identify our activity level. And with those two combined, we're able to calculate our caloric needs to maintain our weight. Then from there, we're going to use that to calculate how much we need to, uh, how many calories and what our macros are to lose our goal weight. You can also use this to gain weight if you're trying to bulk up. And then once we have a plan, we're going to use that Pi Edamom library to uh, you know, automate the process of finding out the calories and macros for those common items. So we're going to jump straight into this uh, by running the code. So I haven't created a GUI, so we're just going to run straight from the console. So first, we're going to get the input from me. Uh, this is just for your YouTube viewing pleasure. I'll probably erase a lot of this code because I know my own information. So my weight is 155 pounds. My height in inches is 64 inches. I know, I'm a short guy. My age is 38. I know, kind of old. I'm a male. Uh, if you're a female, just know that the math is different, and I'll show that later when we get to the code. All right, so my basal metabolic rate, BMR, is 1,535 calories. So that's how much I burn just by waking up and then going to bed at the end of the day. So next, we need to find out what's our activity level. Now, due to the coronavirus and the gym shutting down, I still exercise four to five times a week, but their average workouts are best. They're not um, extreme. So anytime you try to calculate your macros yourself, people do two things. They overestimate their activity level and they underestimate how much food they really eat because they're not counting condiments or they don't count those two cookies they add in. And so the best thing is to be honest. So for me, I do exercise four times, four to five times a week, but it's average. So I'm going to use three. Uh, instead of the daily exercise or intense exercise. All right. So to maintain my current weight, I'm right here. I would need to eat 2,241 calories a day. And then protein and carbs should both each make up 40% of your daily caloric um, amount. And then you should get about 20% for fat. Now this is for a vanilla bodybuilding um, you know, plan. There is keto, South Beach, all these diets that are high fat, and you need to adjust accordingly if that's what you're doing. But this has worked for me, and it's the easiest to maintain. And so this is what I choose. This is just vanilla bodybuilding advice. So if I wanted to lose body fat, then I will need to drop my calories, right? And so the common plan is to lose half a pound of fat a week right so that depends on your starting point though what's common if you will if you're very large for your body frame then losing two pounds which is considered extreme it might not be that extreme because of the percentage of your total weight but for me only being 155 i have a small build two pounds a week is too extreme 
And so half a pound of fat a week is very normal and is a good attainable goal. So right now, to maintain my current weight, 2,241 calories. To drop 0.5 pounds a week, I need to eat 1,991 calories, so a slight drop. And then my protein, carbs, and fat will adjust accordingly. So this gives you how many calories of protein, and this gives you the grams of protein. And that's about right. They, um, you know, standard vanilla advice is 1 to 1.5 times your body weight in protein. So uh, I created this console user interface just for the purpose of this video. My plan in future videos is to get a Fitbit, which always tracks my weight for me. My height and age will be standard. Uh, my age will be tracked. It will know I'm a male. And then these will all adjust every day and I'll be able to measure myself. And we'll do that in future videos together. But for now, let's go over the code. So this code is beginner level, right? It's simple math operators, but the fitness topics are a little more intermediate. So if you have zero, if you like coding, this will be kind of boring. If you don't know anything about fitness, you might struggle through this, but I'll walk you through it. So first, we need to pip install a Python library called PyEdamom, and that's a Python wrapper for um, the Edamom API. So once you pip install it from PyEdamom, import capital P and E PyEdamom. I save all of my, uh, if this is your first time watching my video, I save all of my API keys in a separate file called keys. Uh, so you will need to get your own ID and key from the Edamom API website. I'll leave a link in the description so you can. Then you call E equals Pi Edamom capitals. You pass it the nutrition app ID and the nutrition app key. You can sign up for other free services, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just be using this nutrition app. And this will be the last thing we do. So next we go into the BMR calculation. So as you saw, I asked for my own input now the math behind this, your weight has to be in kilograms and your height has to be in centimeters, but we calculate that later. So first I get my weight in pounds, height in inches, age, ask if I'm a male or female, right? I put it in lowercase, just I do that for all string inputs. Then I change my weight in pounds to kilograms by dividing it by 2.2. I get my height in centimeters by times the uh, multiplying the inches by 2.54, right? And then um, if I'm a male, now this is where the math comes in, then um, you're going to take 10 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times the height in centimeters minus 5 times your age plus 5. Now, whenever you're doing Python, if you're new to program, you have to remember PEMDAS. So, from school, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, it's important. This is how you do it in Python. I don't want it to be a float. I just want it to be an integer. Um, if you're a female, the math changes slightly. And this is from a official... Um, you know, scientific approach called the Mifflin and St. Giora method. So any fitness geeks out there, you're very familiar with this. So everything changes except for minusing this remainder. So for women, you have to minus 161. So unfortunately for women, your metabolism isn't as high just by waking up and getting up. Now this is vanilla. Every body type is different. But in general, you have to eat better and... Um, work out harder than males to lose weight. I'm sorry, that's just the way your bodies were built. It's probably due to your body being prepared to have kids. Sorry. Uh, that's why if uh, you always see those jokes about a woman who has a perfect diet and her husband or spouse only um, you know, switches to diet soda and the male loses all that weight, the, the reason why is because their BMR is usually higher. Um, and then we printed out what our BMR was. Okay, so we did that by saying BMR equals the function we just covered. Then we're going to pass that BMR 
to another function called daily caloric needs, right? So your daily caloric needs, first you have to identify the activity level. So this is a multi-line print statement. That's what these three dashes are. And then these are the official, it's still part of the Mifflin St. Gior method, activity level indexes. So if you are sedentary, meaning you just wake up and go to bed, you actually have a slight activity level because you actually do get up and do things throughout the day. So you times that BMR times 1.2. All the way to intense exercise three to four times a week, your uh, activity level index is 1.9. All right. And so our daily caloric needs is an integer, because I don't like floats for all this, is your BMR that we passed here times our activity level index. And PyCharm is yelling at me because I've only called it within if else statements. Um, you're actually supposed to make a global statement. So. For everyone judging my code, I know that I just, um, this isn't the final version of the code that I plan on using. And then we say, uh, to maintain your current weight, um, you need, so that's right here, to maintain your current weight, you need X calories of day. And then we return that daily caloric needs, right? So daily caloric uh, needs then we pass that to my calculate macros function so here we are we put the BMR our, our daily ca caloric needs and then we calculate just our maintenance macros right so the BMR times um, I'm sorry your daily caloric needs times 0.4 which is protein uh, that's 40% of your calories should come from protein and then we also figure out how many grams of protein that is. And the way you do that is you take calories divided by four. There are four calories in every gram of protein. Same with carbs. So we do the same thing. So first the calories from carbs and then how many calories are in carbs. And that's how we come up with these two statements here. So my daily caloric maintenance I need 2,241 calories. Of that, I need 896 calories, which equals 224 grams of protein. And that's what we're passing here. That's what these three print statements are. I'm taking both the calories from fat and the calories that are in fat to find out how many grams of fat I need. So to calculate the fat loss gain, because some people like to bulk up, um, one pound of fat has 3,500 calories. So if you want to lose one pound of fat a week, you need to reduce 3,500 calories a week from your diet. You can do that right now. If you want to skip all of this, you can do that right now. If you want to lose 0.5 pounds, which is standard, then you divide 3,500 in half and then divide by seven. So half a pound a week calories equals calories minus 3,500 divided by 2, which is half a pound a week, divided by 7 days. Again, PEMDAS. Then we printed out a statement you need to drop to this level, 1,991. If you want to gain weight, you need to add this. So. Uh, if you want to gain one pound a week, right, then you need to add this to your, uh, what's it called? This would be dropping it right here. So what I do is we calculate the protein again, the, uh, the grams, and then we print it. And that's how we got this. So that's basically what happens when you go to one of those websites and it, you type in how to calculate my macros. And then you go to a website, it has all those ads popping at you, right? Uh, that's all that this is doing. That's all those fancy calculators are doing. So this is what you do. You walk away, you have a plan, 
now you need to create a diet that has those macros and that where it gets uh, fun in my opinion because if you create what's called a flexible dieting plan that means so for example I need 796 grams of carbs a day right so this doesn't say 796 in breakfast or lunch or dinner right it just by the end of the day you should have consumed 796 grams of carbs so let's say me and my family go out and we're gonna have a donut donuts have like 250 calories of uh, 250 calories and like 50 grams of uh, carbs so I would have to minus those calories and those carbs from my calculation so I could only have 140 grams of carbs remainder so that means my lunch and dinner I'm gonna have to skinny down on carbs so that's how you kind of that's called flexible dieting instead of saying no donuts at all you just adjust it each day and you can even take this out further because really you should look at it as a week and then a month and that's how you gain significant momentum by uh, flexible dieting 365 days a week people who follow super strict diets often only do it for bursts but people who do flexible dieting can get down to very low body fat, fat percentages all year long and they do that through flexible dieting that's what I did because um, I was deployed with some special forces who drank a lot so I was able to realize that hey tonight we're probably going to drink which is calories and carbs so I need to adjust that and I basically had no carbs up to that so you can look at all the nutrition labels but we're Python programmers so we're gonna do something different so we're gonna use this pi edamom program right so it uses the edamom API to get common um, hold on this is yelling at me I don't know why But this is the standard way of um, yeah so you need to look at nutrition labels or use their API to figure out how much um, calories and fat etc macros are in foods and what this does it allows you to pass natural language processing and it's pretty powerful so we're going to pass three egg whites and two whole eggs and let's check it out so first I remind myself what I just entered three egg whites and two whole eggs and it's able to figure out there's 164 calories in that this is my breakfast I usually eat three egg whites and two whole eggs and then there are eight grams of fat in there from the egg whites probably so you can pass this you can make input get input from yourself and type away and figure out what's in the most common things I recommend you go to the Edamom API this isn't a sponsored content or anything and just look at what you can do it's pretty powerful so that's quite a lot I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're excited about this playlist um, I'm hoping by the next video I have my Fitbit and I'll show you how we can um, hopefully export the Fitbit data into a Google spreadsheet or Excel so we can implement this code so I hope you consider subscribing so you can watch this playlist or watch my whole channel where I'm building my digital assistant who will also manage my fitness for me I uh, hope you like this video and um, thanks for watching goodbye world